Hello, everybody. Uh, welcome to the stream. It's been two years since I last streamed on Twitch. I'm pretty sure, anyway. <laughs> and uh, I got a good one for you. It's Yakuza 0. Uh, probably picked a really bad time to play this game for reasons I'll show you in just a second, but I'm just sending out the notification to let everyone knows that I'm streaming. Another keyboard clacking. Very unprofessional, I know. Hold on. Let me just mute this. Okay, everyone. Uh, hi, welcome to the stream. Let's see, we got Gregoji saying, will the stream be good now? Yeah, I fucking hope so. Uh, Sophia Davis says, hi, hope you're doing well. Are you there? I'm, uh, yeah, I'm good. Anyway, uh, welcome to Yakuza Zero, everybody. Let me make sure the mouse is not on the screen. No, it doesn't seem that way. Wait, yes, it is on the screen. Let me get that shit out of here. So I get to playing in fucking windowed mode. Is it still gone? I think so. Anyway, welcome to uh, welcome to Yakuza Zero, everybody. Now, this is probably... <laughs> I picked a bad fucking time to stream this game, because I'm actually six chapters into this fucking game. Uh, I'm blind. This is like a blind... I've never played Yakuza Zero before. And uh, I've played it for about 20 or so hours, and I'm in Chapter 6 right now, so uh, this is definitely not me playing it. Like, if I was gonna... Oh, hey, someone just followed. At least I think so. Who just followed? <laughs> Did you guys like that stream notification? Oh, I hoped it, I hoped it, uh, I hope it showed up. Making channel follows private? What? What the fuck? Who gives a fuck? I don't care. How am I gonna see? Oh, Ted the Tink Ted the Tea Drinker, you follow. That's cool. Hey, uh, let me see. The, um, I should be getting pop up notifications when someone follows on the stream. Alerts. Yeah, there we go. For some reason, I had that turned off. Okay. Uh, if you want, if you want, Ted, uh, unfollow and then refollow so that you can see the cool notification that I that I that I have. Anyway. Um, I probably, I see, I fucked up because I probably should have streamed this game when I first got it, like that back in chapter one, but, uh, I didn't because I, I just wanted to fucking play the game. Plus my internet kind of sucked ass anyway, so uh, I just didn't. But now here I am, uh, six chapters in, uh, you see, uh, cha excuse me, seven chapters in, play the game. Oh, fuck you, Greg. I was trying to explain. Anyway, let's see what the fuck, oh, I don't want to talk to the master right now. Uh, cell phone card? Oh yeah, it's right here. Dude, there's sexy ladies in this game. Can you fucking believe that shit? Dude, you can watch porn in this game! Did you know that? You can fucking watch porn! <laughs> hey, wait, someone's in trouble. Shoulder tag with me? Oh. Hey, and there's an innocent woman in danger. You gonna try to spoil our fun? Nah, you wouldn't do that, would you now? I'm gonna spoil your whole damn day, actually. Look at him! He thinks he's some sort of hero! Good guys don't always win in real life, sucker! Goons! <laughs> Alright, let's fuck these guys up. Fuck. Fuck yeah, get him! Damn! I fucking love this game, by the way. Like, th honestly, I think it's a good thing that I waited to stream until Chapter 7. Because at this point, I have most of the fighting styles and shit unlocked, so I can have a lot of fun. I don't have to worry about starting from fucking scratch and clawing my way up to the to the good to the good bits of the game. So you, you guys can just cut into the action right away. Slightly battered silk cloth. Oh, that's cool. Anyway, um... It's been like a month since I last played, so I don't remember um, my current objective. But luckily, if you, oh god, it's this fucking guy. It's Mr. Libido. Ooh, that was time, money, and meat well spent. Oh hey, massage parlor in? Yup. I want to enjoy as many girls as I can, so I just take short courses and hit multiple places. But the girl just now is special. Maybe I'll book her for a longer session next time. 
corrupted save file start from the beginning? No, Greg, I'm not going to fucking do that. Uh, let's see. I did something original with uh, RE4, played like 75% of the game, then started streaming, lol. Yeah, I understand. Say, you got any new information about cute girls around here? You're on the prowl too, eh? I fucking hate this man. I just want you to know that. I fucking hate this guy. Like, uh, like, like this guy, this, this like ripped half naked Japanese guy who he just like standing here in public. I want you to know your first encounter with this guy. He just like wanders in and takes over the game and you have to, and you're forced to watch a cutscene of him like touching himself. Like I, I, I hate it. He's dancing all weird and he's talking about uh, cream in his pants. Sex, come! You know, uh, shit like that. Anyway, I forget what I was going to say. Oh yeah, if you stand still in this game, then uh, it'll actually remind you of your current objectives. Any second now. But anyway, uh, I was saying, I, I really like this game. It's really cool. It's really innovative. I love the gameplay style. I love the fighting. I've never played a lot of beat-em-up games. Uh, picked up some takoyaki. Ta takoyaki? It's food. Pick up food, anyway. Uh, I've never really been, like, big on beat-em-up games. Like, I played, like, Golden Axe and Streets of Rage. But uh, I've never been big on, like, 3D action games and uh, hooligans and stuff like that. But this game, I think, is really cool. I just really like how everything works. Yes, a lot of it is just button mashing, but, you know, that comes with the territory. Oh, yeah, I forgot. Yahoo! Check this shit out. Yahoo! Dance battle! Have I tried the Arkham games? Uh, no, I haven't. I like Batman, but I've just, I've never played them. I've never played the Arkham games, and you know, I've also never played the Insomniac uh, Spider-Man games either. I mean, I've played them with my with my brother, but like, I've never stopped and played them for myself. Like, I don't have a PS4. I don't have a... I never... I didn't buy the game on Steam when it came out either. What other game can you beat the shit out of people while dancing? Fucking games rules. I love it. Except for when I'm getting my ass beat. Can I grab this guy? Oh, shit. Oh, yeah. You can't grab in every fighting style. I forget. I haven't upgraded this fighting style as much as I probably should. Nice fluid beat em up with Arkham. Well, that's cool to know. Yeah, I never played any of the Arkham games. I've watched reviews of them, that's for sure. But I've never, uh... Oh, it's her. It's the doll girl. What's wrong with her? I've given... You know how many fucking crane games I had to play to make you happy? What's wrong with you? What's the matter, scamp? <gasps> Who the f Are you fucking serious? Who the fuck did this? You know how long it took me to get that fucking... Your mom did it? What? Your mom's gonna get killed? What? The scary men who come to take money showed up, but this time they took her away. Oh my god. Okay, so earlier on in the game, you play like a bunch of fucking Sega UFO catchers to earn this little girl like little toys, like little prizes and shit. And it really makes you want to earn them because you want to make her happy. You know what I mean? But uh, the first time you help her, you ward off, like, kidnappers that tried to take her. But now I guess they've tried to fucking kidnap her mom? That's so fucked. No, wait, they didn't try. They did. They kidnapped her mom. That's so fucked. Like, why did they, they... I murdered your toys as well. Like, why? why? What the fuck? Why? What does that do to help? Down by the river. All right. Come on, kiddo. We gotta... Let's bust a move. Give me one second. I gotta fucking... Let me turn off Discord. Do not disturb. Sorry. Do not disturb, everybody. 
Sorry about that. Sorry. Anyway. Damn. Hello, gorgeous. Uh, clean up aisle of my pants. <laughs> I'm sorry. Uh, stop it. I already paid you back everything I borrowed. What are you talking about, you dozy cow? You lent you a million yen? Paid it all back. This guy's fit is fucking atrocious. Are you seeing this shit? 13 million left in interest? What are you, the fucking IRS? That's what I don't understand about these debt collectors. Like, I get it. It's, look at the fucking texture on that guy's hair on the left. It's crazy. That's not hair. That's like a... That's like a fruit. Like, you like you wash it underwater. Anyway. Like, I know it's the job of, like, the mob and debt collectors to purposefully fuck over people, but how do you expect them to pay that shit? Just sell them into slavery? Oh. Yeah, no thank you. Dude, the Blackberry with that hair? Yeah, that's what I'm saying. Plenty of sickos who paid top dollar for the... <laughs> this guy's gonna I will uh, uh, kill him I, I'm pretty sure probably gonna bring in more than you get her out of here that kid will be up front in the arcade like usual I'll go scoop her up I'm gonna fucking murder this guy I want you to know that Oh, <laughs> fucking here, babe. Fucking here, man. There he is, the savior. Goro Majima. And who are you? You ain't here to give us lip about the way we do business, are you? Hmm? I don't give a flying shit about your business. You can do whatever the hell you want. Then you're smarter than you look. How about you leave the kid and scram then? Yeah, that ain't gonna happen. See, there's two types of people in this world that really set me off. Huh? Dipshits who tear up dolls that I went through a lot of trouble to get a hold of. Yeah, you're fucking telling me. And fuckwits who prey on defenseless women because it makes them feel big. You fit both those bills, asshole! I'm gonna fucking kill these guys. Shut your mouths and put up your fists so I can hurry up and beat the shit out of you. Oh, yeah. I'm not just gonna fucking dance on this guy. I got something better in mind. A fucking baseball bat! Get fucked! Oh, you want some too? Fuck you! Hey, I ain't done with you yet. I still gotta tear you up as badly as you tore up that poor doll. Pick him up and throw him in the river. Kill him. Have mercy. What a bunch of pussies. Ah, oh, come on. I was just getting to the fun part. Yeah, these guys were like no challenge. I killed them like instantly. Hey, you all right? Dad? Oh yeah, she calls me. She thinks I'm her dad. Yeah, this is the man who bought me all the dolls, Mommy. I call him Daddy. Okay, I'm not going to say those words. <laughs> oh, so that was you. My daughter talks about you all the time. Uh, I don't suppose I could ask your name? Sure, it's Majima. Rip him apart like a chimpanzee. Yes, that's what I, that's what I did. Majima-san, yeah, thank you. You've done so much for us. I don't know how to thank you. Okay. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to go on a tangent now. Like I'm going to pay attention to the game, but I'm going to go on a tangent here. You know what I really, really fucking hate? A security wallet. Oh, that's cool. So I'll lose less money when I die or something like that. A 10 different gear? 10 different gear items. That's cool. You know what I really fucking hate? Um, in anime, when they, um, like an English dub for anime. It's like, oh, dub or sub, who gives a fuck? Uh, um, think whatever you want, you fucking sweaty neckbeard Redditors. But uh, I watch anime in dubs because I'm a fucking English speaker. Uh, and I want to watch things in my native language. This game is different because it's purely Japanese. Uh, but anyway, um, when I watch dubbed anime, which I prefer to do because I fucking speak English. Um, 
not to say that some dubs aren't sub uh Japanese versions aren't better. Like uh I think they really fumbled the English dub of JoJo Part 3. But anyway, you know what I fucking hate? I hate when they put a dub in English and they keep in words like sensei and uh, son and senpai and kun. Like, I fucking hate that. Your job as a localizer is to make it understandable to the English audience. People in English don't fucking talk like that. Like, sp I'm specifically, like, uh, okay, Naruto is a, is a, is a different case. Because, like, Kakashi sensei, like, they're ninjas. Like, that comes with the territory. That's cool. That's fine. But, um... Specifically, Jojo Part 4, Koichi, he's like, Rohan Sensei, whoa, what are you doing? Like, don't stop, don't fucking call him that! Like, I get it, you're Japanese, but it's being localized in England. Like, so many animes keep in shit where they call, like, older people Sensei or Senpai or Kun or Son or, or other bullshit like that. Like, I don't care. I don't care if that's how it was in the original. You're speaking English. You localized it for us Americans. Americans don't fucking talk like that. When is the last time you went up to a fucking older coworker and you're like, Hello, Gary Kuhn. Hello, a Steve Senpai. It's like, Mark Sensei. Like, no one fucking talks like that. I hate when English anime does that. It pisses me. It, it, you can call me like, I, you can call me like, you can call me a Redditor for being pissed off at this shit. But it, like, irrationally makes my skin crawl. Like, I hate it. It always comes across as, like, the early 2000s when people would say that shit, like, to be cringy on purpose. You know what I mean? Like, like I hate it. I hate when they fucking do that. But anyway, uh, this doll is, this, this doll is fucked up, bro. <laughs> Pick them up and keep them safe. Yeah, you do that. I better get going. Thank you for everything, Majima-san. Is that a fucking guy, like, crouched in the background? Did you see that? Daddy. <laughs> Got a nice ring to it. You are not... You are not the father! Anyway, the sad sub-story music is over now. I swear to fucking God, there was, like, a guy... Oh, there are guys crouching here. It's just a bunch of homeless people. Ah, booby, boobies. Let's see. Now, Mizuki. Let's see. Personally, I play video games with Japanese voices if based in Japan or something, but English dub with anime. Yeah, I feel the same way. Booba. Yeah, Greg, that's Booba, all right. Uh, do I do a sub? Nah, I think I'll just continue the actual plot. I don't want to do a sub story. I gotta leave at like one o'clock and it's already noon. I spent too long uh, fucking around not actually starting a stream. So, um, that's, yeah, that's my fault. But, uh, let's go pick up some, some Japanese food. Ooh! Hey, perfect timing. I just made a fresh batch. Get them while they're hot. I've never had takoyaki, but I assume it's really good. Uh, what I do really like is, um, Oh, I can only get one. Only before they get cold. Um, what I do really like, uh, you can call me a Western weeb for this, but uh, uh, ramen, so fucking good. I went to this ramen shop over in, when I was in Los Angeles, I went to this ramen shop in Little Tokyo and also uh, another place in Los Angeles. Uh, I can't remember. I went to two different ramen shops. Uh, and it was really fucking good. I got like the pork, the chashu pork ramen with like... Uh, had pork and it was it was like three different types of meat with uh, noodles and sh oh fuck it's Mr. Shakedown and I don't have any fucking weapons. Oh yes I do. Oh I have plenty of weapons. Okay. Um. I have to aggro him without aggroing these fucking guys. Otherwise, come on, come on, no oh, fuck, oh fucking come on. Fucking biker piece of shit! Too many times you've spoiled me for being able to fight Mr. Shakedown and earn a fuckload of money! And now that I beat him, Mr. Shakedown despawned! 
if you beat Mr. Shakedown in a fight, you get like $18 billion. Every fucking time he's shown up, I can't fight him because some other piece of shit goon will spawn in and be like, ooh, I want to take priority and fight you first. <gasps> Kitty! <gasps> there are so many fucking kitty cats. Let me, let me get a peek. <gasps> Look at them! Hi, kitty! Okay, where's the fucking card? There it is. Boobs. Anyway. <gasps> Look at the kitties! Aww! <gasps> Look at the low polygon kitties! That's so cute! Hi, kitty. Anyway. I'm a cat guy, in case you couldn't tell. Smoking hot takoyaki. All right, time to put the controller down and enjoy cutscene land. Unless it's one of those cutscenes that makes me uh, progress the dialogue myself. Oh, no, that's good. This girl is blind, by the way. I'm not going to eat the cats, Greg. Why the fuck would you say that? Uh, now I'm hungry. Well, yeah, you're hungry. You said you were hungry earlier. <laughs> That's a good sign. People are machines and he needs fuel. Give him half a shake. I'll get the plate ready for you. But anyway, uh, I had this like pork chashi ramen. And it was really fucking good. It was like... The, the broth and the noodles were excellent. And I love... I love shoveling meat into my mouth. You know what I mean? Like, I, I cannot get enough meat. I need as much meat in my mouth as possible. <laughs> oh, yeah. Furthering the plot. Oh, yeah, that girl, Mak Makato... Or... M Makato? Makato... Oh. I'm not sure how to pronounce her name. Makoto, I think. Uh, she's blind, and he's blind in one eye, so it's like... It's like, you know, it's like poetry rhymes. You know what I'm saying? <clears throat> Something I've learned that uh, if I'm going to keep live streaming, I need to have... Uh, I need to have water on standby. Oh yeah, she's not born blind. She was like psycho. She's like psychologically blind. I didn't even know that was a thing, but it probably is. You know, I heard that like if you cover one, if if you have both of your eyes and they work, if you cover one eye, it'll strengthen the other eye. So I, because I wear glasses and I have pretty bad eyes. So I wonder what would happen if I wore an eye patch for like six months, uh, strengthened one eye and then switched to the other eye and then I strengthened both eyes. Do you think that would actually work or would I just be like a fucking moron? <laughs> you wear a wristwatch? Ah, uh, pop my fingers. You know, I haven't even stopped to ask. Yeah, it's pretty cute. Yeah, how would you even know? You're blind. <laughs> I, I've been meaning to ask, how's the audio, by the way? Like, am I too loud? Is the game too quiet? Is the game too loud? It doesn't play anymore. The watch is broken. Well, that's unfortunate. I'm sure you can find someone to fix a watch. This girl's like all sadness, bro. Like everything about her life sucks. You think that only works with senses? You think that only works with senses when regain they just balance out, so to say, I ain't a scientist. Yeah, well yeah, neither neither am I. That's why I just suggested that. Lost my sight, lost track of time, the watch broke, the chime stopped playing. God, everything of you you're just fucked, Mikado. You know what I'm saying? Like, like you're just fucked. Like, it, you know, it's not even your fault. You know what I mean? Like, you're just fucked. Like, I, I feel really bad for you. It's not even your fault. You know, you're just a blind girl. I'm really ruining this dramatic 
really sad moment between these two characters that have both lost a lot and have found each other. You know, when I was a child, I had a, uh, there was a clock in my house. Uh, when I was a child, I had this clock in my aunt and uncle's house, and every every hour it would ring this really pretty chime. Um, and I, I always loved hearing it. I would wait by the clock just so I could hear it. But um, you know, I can't uh, I can't remember what it sounds like anymore, and I think that's deeply tragic. I haven't been there in a long time, and I don't even think they own the clock anymore. So. It's just one of those things that you're going to have to try and be nostalgic for. You know what I mean? By the way, I talked over this, but she's throwing the watch away, I think. You need to get stronger. Like Goku? Oh yeah, this is 1980. Is Dragon Ball even out yet? That's when this game takes place, by the way. 1980. Like, not, not, not the 1980s, specifically 1980. Uh, Majima, you're going to go fix that watch, aren't you? Boy Lee says he's got something. He's got to look into something on his end. Oh, yeah, Lee is this, like, giant buff tattooed bro. He's really cool. Lee and uh, Makoto... I'm going to say her fucking name differently every time. Lee and Makoto were like tight. You know what I mean? They're like best friends. Oh, yeah, the plot. <laughs> mm, the mysterious music is kicking in. like you got your shoes off for her. Wait like five years for the first Dragon Ball manga chapter? Oh yeah, huh. Yeah, not even Dragon Ball is out yet, let alone DBZ. Oh yeah, Majima is an ex-Yakuza member of the Tojo clan. The reason he's looking after this girl is because his old Yakuza boss told him to kill her and then he'll let him back into the Yakuza. But he didn't know it was a blind girl. He thought it was the buff guy with the tattoos. But now that he's like gotten to know her, he's like, I can't fucking kill this girl. You know what I mean? Hey, the guy's your boss, right? Have a little faith. Yeah, we'll be back as soon as work's over. You good? I bet Majima would have loved reading Dragon Ball. Seems like right up his alley. Hmm. Maybe I'll drop by a cabaret club like uh, Yamagata Han suggested on my way to, on my way back to check in at the Grand. I might have seen one in Onganji Yokocho area. Maybe it's worth a check. Oh, it's this guy. This guy's also worth a lot of money. Let me kill him really quick. Fuck you! And here's the swing! Boom! I've had enough. I'm sorry. I say Donkey Kong, my beloved barrels. He's just, uh, that guy will just sound like Bluster Kong in my opinion. When you guys hear that chime, that means, uh, that means, uh, there's one of those booby cards over there. It, there's a boot, there's a booba card, telephone club card nearby. Where the fuck is it? No, no, no. Look in first person, you motherfucker. Where is it? You see it sparkling anywhere? No, 
it's not over here. I'm getting close. Oh, it's in the potted plant? What the fuck? Oh, wait a minute. <gasps> I can look at porn! Move! Move! Hit me out. Fuck out the way. Oh, this, like, character, he's, like, very tragic. He works at a porn store, so now, like, his wife left him because he has no concept of what is truly, like, special and romantic and erotic anymore. Working here, like, ruined his fucking life. <laughs> he's a very tragic character, and I feel for him. Uh, let's see. What porn do you guys want to watch? Uh, uh, type type the name of the girl in chat that you uh, that you want me to, to, to see. Uh, uh. Now, keep in mind, this is not actually porn. It's just erotic videos of these girls doing weird things. So uh, type the name of the girl in chat that you want to see do something weird. So you're not seeing any names in chat yet, probably because you can't uh, spell them. Erm, I'm good. <laughs> Okay, let me uh let me just pick uh uh random girl, random girl, random girl. Uh Miku. Enjoy the video. Turn the stream off right now. Boobs! This is really just a fucking fi You get an achievement for this, by the way! I love how this game is fucking set in the 1980s, and this camera quality and shit is so fucking clearly in modern times. This shit is absurd. Is this really what, what like, old, wrinkly Japanese men would watch in the... Yes! Is this really what, like, wrinkly Japanese guys would, like, get their rocks off to in the 1980s? Like, is this what really qualified to them as, like, erotic videos? Ban this guy? Chat? Ban this guy? Let's see. Hello, sorry for bothering I want to offer promotion for your channel. Oh, ch uh, ch chat bots. Oh, price is lower. Okay, okay, let's kill him. Let's kill this guy. Let's beat this guy to death with hammers. Chat, kill him. Kill this guy. Ready? I'm gonna murder him. Ready? One, two, three. Banned! He's gone now. Alright, he's gone. <laughs> oh, by the way, I'm already at full health, but watching porn heals you? <laughs> Wasn't bad. Come back. We'll be waiting. Anyway, he's pretty good. No, 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 no. Is there a cutscene for what? No, fuck! I hate him. I hate this guy. I knew it was coming. Oh, coming. Ah, fuck. Ah. Yeah, I shouldn't have said that. I, I hate him. I hate you. I don't even <laughs> No, that is not me in three years. <laughs> uh I'm going to I'm going to assume Majima is a, a BBW warrior and loves uh supersized uh, Japanese chicks. You know what they say? Uh the chubbier they are, the more to love, the more curves to grab. They're called love handles for a reason. And my main man, Majima, is a Brazil's, uh, Port Puerto Rico's strongest soldier. Way too many. Just how horny are you, man? <laughs> That's only the tip of my penis. I mean the tip of the iceberg. <laughs> Damn it, you win. No, don't let this guy win. I ain't ever talked about this kind of thing before with anyone. That was really weird, even though we're both dudes at all. 
The desire to have sex is nothing to be... See that? Did you see that guy in the brown coat walk forward, see us, and then turn around? I bet it felt good telling me about what kind of girls turn you on, right? It does kind of feel like a relief to talk about how much I want to fuck fat chicks. Oh, oh fuck, he's doing the dance! Osaka sure is crazy, though. Ain't no way to keep track of all the different places and all the different girls. Stop, fuck, stop fucking moving the camera to him! Yeah. There we go. Now he's normal. Well, fuck, I mean, you know, as normal as this guy can be. My monster's roaring. I'm gonna go slay it. Is that what you... It's what they called my penis in high school. Damn. Guy's got the stamina of a horse. I, you know what? Decrease the friendship meter. I want this guy fucking killed. You understand me? Oh, fuck. What is this? Hmm? My name is Yuda, and I'm the manager here. Come in now, and I can pair you with our number one girl. What do you say? I was looking for a fucking save box because I gotta leave. Cabaret Club. I don't know what the difference is between a cabaret and a cabaret club. Ah. Uh, I'm getting roped into this. I wanted to go save. I gotta leave. It's almost 1230. I gotta be somewhere at 1 p.m. I've been to la livelier graveyards than this. Hmm? Where are the where are the girls? Yuki Chan. Listen, we've already established that Majima only fucks with fat chicks. I can't skip the dialogue. She's pretty low key. Okay, so what is a what is the point? Okay, can anyone? I really doubt anyone in the chat is older than fucking twenty three, but uh, can anyone explain what the fuck a cabaret club is? Like, like you just show up, drink, and women like sit next to you, and they like drink with you, like that's it. How lonely you gotta be, man. Like, I know it's not the 80s anymore, but still. Did she poison my drink? You're really the number one gal here? Sorry if I'm skipping through this. I just, re I really gotta go. There's only three of us? What kind of fucking club is this that only has three girls? Yeah. Men are way lonelier than that. Five stars came around every day, something like this. Five a star. Five stars of Tokenbori. There are five cabaret clubs in town that have muscled out all the rest. Five stars work we probably won't. You mean like the realty kings that Kiru is dealing with? Fuck. Is this Majum? Okay. So in the previous chapter, Kiru Kazuma gets roped into like doing a real estate mini game, and you can earn like a fuckload of money from doing it. But is this Majima's equivalent of the realty mini game? Is he gonna like become the manager of this club and like run these other guys out of business? I mean, I guess that explains. Uh, I guess that explains how I'm supposed to afford all the fucking character upgrades. Harassment. Yeah, this is exactly what I am. This is exactly what I think it is. Pudgy man. I love the way Yakuza names characters, by the way. 
Who's the rotund ton of fun? It's just a fancy word for nightclub. Yeah, I understand. His name Tino, owner of Club Mars. Club Mars? That is a cool-ass name. Club Mars? Club Mars, you are. Has a monopoly on the customers in this part of town. Hmm. The closed shop, the only cabaret clubs left standing in Southern Border would be the ones whose five stars were in. Roach Motel? I'll pay you a reasonable amount for your troubles, but if you continue to defy us, the terms of this little reward are going to be quite different. I have met so many people in real life just like this. This game is like the ultimate male fantasy where you get to beat the shit out of snobby, snot-nosed assholes. Low-down, dirty bullies. You know, unfortunately, high school movies kind of lied to you. Uh, the low-down, dirty bullies end up uh, being the ones running society half the time. Expect an answer on your next visit. Again, sorry I'm skipping through this, but I really got to go. I'd full-on skip the cutscene, but I, <laughs> I do kind of want to know what happens. This guy... No <sighs> this guy got... Oh, he got... This guy's doxxed? Oh, fuck. He knows where his daughter lives. guy is such a fuckhead, man. I hate him. I, I, I hate this guy and his stupid fucking polka dot outfit. <sighs> if only you had a very skilled fighter on your hands that also happens to be Exikuza. Who also has experience in a, a managing a very successful club. I'm just, okay, I'm going to skip through this, alright? I can read it. Sorry if you can't read it, but I'm going to skip through here. Some of the dialogue you can't skip for some reason. Play Helldivers? I have to leave. Crush the full cabarets, huh? Yeah, I own the Grand. Yeah, control the whole city. Yeah, I get the idea. This is pretty grim. Short time ago. Oh, come on, Yuda. Uh, Yuda, don't be, don't be uh, modest. You can come on. That's reality. You know, from the Goosebumps episode. Or was that alone in the dark? Uh, don't care much what happens to the town, but the thought of dicks like that doing it, dick, uh, doing whatever they want pisses me off. If I let them go now, there'll be trouble for the Grand's bottom line down the road. Eh? 
I run the place. Manager of the Grand? Yeah, who could have seen this coming? Not me. I don't know. Don't know about genius, but yeah, so it's in my interest not to let those guys build up any more steam here. Pack of flaming assholes. I gotta use that one. Oh well. Yeah, I gotta get going pretty soon because uh, I got some shit I gotta handle downtown. Real important uh, Whalen PK business. And then I have some other plans around 2.30, so I can't just like hit a BRB screen, leave for 30 minutes, and then come back, unfortunately. But, uh, oh well. How's everyone in the chat doing today, by the way? Like, is everyone having a good day? My day's all right, you know? I mean, every fucking weekend I close. I'm still, still fucking going, man! Take over as manager. Okay, I'm in control. I'm leaving. Fuck! It's only 1 p.m. Anything could change. Yeah, I know how. I know what you're talking about. Ah. Can we get a Majima thumbs up as a chat emote, please? This this is this is fucked. Like I, can't, I'm sorry. I, I I have to. <laughs> this is so much. I can't leave. All right. Uh, unfortunately, I'm just. Unfortunately, I'm just gonna have to stop the stream here. I I really thought I would I could be able to like leave, and save and whatever. But uh. Unfortunately, I'm going to have to stop the stream here. So uh that going um oh my fucking god i'm pretty sure the whole game was i'm pretty sure the game was muted this entire fucking time oh my fucking god oh my god i'm a dumbass uh yeah i'm pretty sure the game was muted this entire time because i just went into the obs settings and the microphone and the little icon was uh, was red I, feel free to correct me if the game was actually muted this whole time, but I'm pretty sure I had the sound off because I'm a total dumbass, and I forgot to turn it back on. Anyway, uh, I hate to cut the stream short here, but uh, I gotta get going. So thanks to everyone that showed up. First stream in two fucking years. Uh, just relax, Waylon, take care. Yeah, thanks, sorry. <laughs> you can tell I'm brand new to this. Have not streamed in two years, so, you know, it is what it is. I'll see you guys later. Thanks for stopping by. And hopefully, I'll start streaming more regularly. And if uh, uh, if I'm not working in the mornings, because I'm actually a substitute teacher for my local high school district. So if I'm not working early in the mornings, you can expect me to stream. So hopefully that'll come back. So hopefully I'll come back and stream again very soon. In the meantime, uh, I'll see you guys later. My name is Waylon, but uh, you knew that already. So uh, goodbye. <laughs>